Um, if you didn't already read from the title, is going to be my skincare routine. And keep in mind, these are things that work for me. They might not work for you. I have like my skin. I don't really break out or anything, but it's kind of dry. So yeah, that's how my skin is. Your skin is probably not exactly like mine. You can just watch this video for fun, or maybe get some things that might work for your skin. But let's just get into it. I already washed my face today, but I would. Either use one of these two. The first thing is this Lou Mario Badescu Enzyme Cleansing Gel. I feel like a lot of people have it, but it's pretty good. The only thing is, I feel like after I wash my face, my face, my, my face is very dry. Whereas if I use this one, Glossier Milky Jelly Cleanser, it doesn't get as dry. About this one, I do like this because it comes with a lot. But I would prefer this because, yeah, as I said, it doesn't it makes it doesn't make my skin feel dry as that one does. I like this because it's like unscented. I'm pretty sure, and it's very it's like how to describe it. It's like clear, and it's a nice texture, and it kind of feels like this one, but this one feels like a little watered down. I don't really know what I'm talking about, but yeah, that's my face wash and. I do that at night and in the morning. Next thing is this rose water toner thing. It's from Mario Badescu. I think it was a set to get these two. So I think I got it for Christmas. Um, this is the Witch Hazel and Rose Water Toner. It also is a very big bottle, so that's nice. But the thing is, it's, I don't feel like it does a lot for my skin. Like, it probably does some things, but compared to, well, I'll tell you. So. I actually ordered from Glossier, I'm getting like the solution, which is like an exfoliant toner, and you can actually like feel that on your skin, like it's doing something, where this is like you're just like putting on your skin and you don't really feel anything. So I don't know really if I would recommend this or not. Next thing is, this is actually only a sample, but I actually bought the full product, it's coming on Saturday, and it's the Priming Moisturizer from Glossier. I don't know why it's flicking around like that. I want to say if there's anything really special about this. I just haven't tried out that many moisturizers. But I really, I like it how a little goes a long way. So that's very nice. I'm getting the big bottle of that, so that's fun. And I'm pretty sure the next thing in your routine is supposed to be sunblock. So I have this sun bum sunblock. It's SPF 50, I think. And it's water resistant which does not mean waterproof, I don't think. So I really liked this when I first got it, but I feel like it, it's like a nice consistency, but then I found out that it's not good for the coral reefs and for the ocean, because it contains a chemical. So watch out, I'm not gonna, I'm gonna use this all up because it's gonna go to waste. Either way, it's gonna still be put into the ocean, but don't purchase anything that's bad for the ocean because that's something I, I'm really passionate about. I don't like hurting ocean or anything like that. So please look into a sunscreen before you get it. Also, because I think this is water resistant, I've been getting a lot of sunburns on my forehead when I go to the beach. So I feel like this is more for an, an everyday sunscreen compared to a beach sunscreen. One of my fa oh, one of my favorite things are these. Glossierbomb.com. If I feel like if you get one thing from Glossier, get these because these are very hydrating. I have them in two different flavors. I have the original and I have the birthday one. The birthday one, I only have two, but this one is by far one of my favorites. They're very hydrating. They last on my lips for like two hours, which is so nice. It seems like the bottle size compared to my hand, it's like that, which at first it seemed very small to me. But this has lasted me maybe almost like a year now, and I still have a lot of product left, so that is very nice. Okay, so next is kind of like extras. I don't do it every single day. So if you don't know, you can go onto like the Mari Badescu website, and you can get these like free samples for like $3 shipping. Samp one of the samples that I got is a Botanical Exfoliating Scrub, and I don't have a lot to say about this. It has like little like exfoliator thingies. I don't really like it because it's a little too sharp for my skin, 
but I will sometimes use this if I can feel I have like a dead a lot of dead skin. Yeah, I don't know if I would recommend it or not. And then another extra is a face mask, and this is the flower tonic ma flower and tonic mask. So sample. Um, I don't know how to review this because face masks, I feel like they don't do a lot. They might do some stuff, but it's not really visible, so if you're interested in a face mask, you can get this. Nothing special about it. This is the drying lotion, and the first times I used this, it actually worked very well, but then I don't know if my like skin grew to fight against it. It doesn't work as well. I got another thing from Glossier, which is kind of like this. Well, yeah, that is all the things, and now I'm going to film the part where I put it all on my skin. Okay, so I already washed my face with the Milky Jelly Cleanser, just because, I, as I said, I like this one more. So, yes, my skin is feeling still a little bit dry, so we're going to be using the Witch Hazel thing, and let me go get... This is my last cotton pad. I just ordered more. I really wanted to order some reusable ones, but I can't really find any. So if you have any good recommendations, go find it. But I'm using the toner, and I don't really know how to say how much I use, but I use it, I get it wet, and then I swipe it. And I don't know, you're supposed to swipe it until it's clean, but I honestly don't know. The um, the thing about that is I'm pretty sure it's fragrance because it does smell a lot like rose water. Um, let's see. So it says it contains rose flower water. So maybe it's not fragrance, but I know skincare by Hiram really likes it to not be fragrance. So that's something I'm starting to look out for more. I'm not I'm obviously not gonna waste the product, so I'm not gonna throw it away, but I'm gonna use it until it's gone. And then we have the Priming Moisturizer. So at this point, my skin is feeling a little dry. Here, let me. So, like I said, a little goes a long way. So we're done with that. Also, I feel like this is a skincare tip that not a lot of people talk about. But always make sure you're washing your hands before you um, do all the skincare stuff because it's like pretty obvious, but I feel like not everybody does it. It's just like imagine all the bacteria from your hands is now getting on your face. That is not good for you. So let me try and focus. Now for the sunscreen. Uh, this texture is nice because it's pretty liquidy, which you might not like, but for something that I wear every day, and I'll put other things on top of it. I like it to be liquidy. It doesn't leave a white cast, but it definitely does leave my skin a little oily. But um, I kind of like that because my skin is also pretty dry. So if you don't want that, then this is probably not something for you, especially if you have oily skin. You also always want to put it on your neck because that is something that gets wrinkly very easily. So if you want to look good when you're a grandma, just put sunblock on um, sunscreen on your neck. Also, this is like sunscreen. If you're going to do anything, um, wash your face and wear sunscreen because sunscreen is so important for you. Sun cancer is not something you want, so wear your SPF every single day. It's so important. So now with the bomb.coms, I'm gonna be using the birthdaybomb.com. And some, I don't know, this isn't really unsanitary, but usually people would squirt it off onto their, um, onto their finger. But I actually just like applying it straight to my lips because then I don't have to get it on my finger. And then, yeah, it's like the perfect amount. you can see but this one has like little sparkles in it and it looks very pretty so that's why I really like these bomb.coms pretty much it I'm not gonna be trying on any of the extra things just because I usually do those I usually do more of a skincare routine at nighttime because I have more time and also if I'm doing like a face mask yeah I just have more time as in the morning I like want to do stuff so this is my final skincare routine. 
Remember, this is not something that will work for everybody, but if you're just starting to get into skincare, look into maybe getting some Glossier products because they have things that they're not meant for people with lots of acne and acne scars, but if you just, you're starting off, I really recommend this Melky Jelly Cleanser or one of the bomb.coms. And thank you for watching. Stay tuned for more videos. I also want to do a Glossier collection because I'm getting an order from them soon. So I will see you guys in my next video. Peace. Lisa, everyone's lining up to see her.